Good morning from Ireland. Looks like we are spinning into position now. There's the cute part down there. This looks like it could be a terminal part down here. They got a sign out that's about the Titanic. Oh, that's right. So Cove was the last port of call for Titanic. There we go. There's the connection. Looks like we're still slowly sneaking into position. Anyway, let's go make preparations for our day. Top Hi. of the morning to you. We're in Ireland. Oh. Look how green it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are ready to get some breakfast, hop off, and head out to see some stuff. Now, when yes. I heard we were coming to Cove, I guess that's the appropriate pronunciation. Cove. Cove. The first thing I thought of is, we got to get to Blarney Castle. You got to do it. We're it's here. Thing. <laughs> so we have booked an independent tour with Paddy Wagon Tours. Their bus is supposed to be big with a colorful cartoon leprechaun on it. I'm like, how can you not want to travel in style like that? That's right. So we are going to go and do that. We got Blarney Castle, a couple of other stops, mm -hmm. and let's roll. I'm so excited. Let's go eat breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I think we are ready for some international cafe. It's pretty quiet up here actually. So we've got yogurts, fruits, a little like avocado toast, muesli bars, muffins. Down here we have some of the hot food like the Mac muffins. All sorts of tempting croissants and pastries. Oh, I've secured a breakfasty spot and Dee is getting us some iced Americanos. For the princess, it's safe to secure alongside her work. And we have now received clues from the local authorities who are yet to proceed the show. Well, we are going to head ashore and get this adventure started. Ooh, you can feel some cool air. Welcome to deck four. Okay, we're making our way across. We're on a bridge right now. Does that count as first steps in Ireland? No, we have to do it up here properly. There it is. Woo oh, there you can pick up trains to Cork. We've got the entrance to the Heritage Center. Yeah, we've come off a little bit early, so we're just gonna have a wander and see what we can see until the coach gets here. Well, we've come out to the side area now where the independent tours seem to meet, but we've got some cool views out here. Oh, yes. All right, this is riding in style, I'm telling you. That's what I needed in my life. Whoops, well this ended up being our ride for right now. Hey! Update. Okay, why are we back on the ship? Now we're coming at you from the future. Right. To let you know how to not be dumb. An idiot. <laughs> Y'all, we were a little bit confused today and you will see why here in a minute. Yeah. The tour that we booked said that it started 30 minutes after ship's arrival. Now ship's arrival was originally 9 o'clock. So we were planning, ooh, the tour's gonna start at 9.30. When our arrival got backed up to eight o'clock, we were wondering if the tour time right. would also move relative to the new uh, docking position. Guess what, it did. <sighs> it did. <laughs> now, we walked down the gangplank way there right around 8.30. Thinking we were early, we like an hour early. I know. The bus had already left. Um, so we ended up having to make alternate travel arrangements involving a taxi mm -hmm. uh, but we did well spoiler alert you'll see we eventually do catch back up to the tour group but we just had to bust bust, bust in here yeah and tell you watch out for them logistics when in doubt, go with your gut and do the earlier time yeah so <laughs> or if it says 30 minutes after arrival just go out 30 minutes after or no before that just get off when the people say because apparently what happened is we got clearance at 750 and the and the boss we understand left somewhere around 820 we Full think people except for us. Yeah, we were the only, <laughs> us, Tony, and Don are the only four that didn't show up for the tour. Anyway. This is why you don't do what we do. Just be smart. <laughs> don't do like us. Mm, but it all worked out. Yeah, you'll see. So let's catch you back up to mm -hmm. us now taking a taxi over to Blarney. Which is lovely. It was. Here we go. <laughs> We're in the taxi. We're getting to Blarney. We'll have to get into this story later. <laughs> well, it's about a 30 minute ride to Blarney, I think. 35 maybe, depending on traffic. Blarney Castle. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, there's the line for general admission. Our tour does include um, the admission cost here, so we should maybe be able to jump in. What's it normally, 20 euro? Well, we are in. All right, so we've got about two and a half hours to explore. It's 9.30, I think the rest of the group just got here too, so we didn't really lose any time today. So now we can have a calm, peaceful time. Relax from the earlier misadventures. <gasps> What's that? Oh, nice. Ooh. I'm digging all the flowers, all the colors, all the nature. Crikey. We're gonna hear Tony and Don vlogging back there behind us at times, but hey. Castle and Stone. Oh, I do hear some tunes up here. Bagpipes. This is magical. <laughs> Oh, that is high up there, isn't it? Is there a lift? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, things just got real. You know how steel pan means I'm on vacation in the Caribbean? This means I'm on vacation in the British Isles. So cool. <laughs> Let's wander on. Oh yeah, the statue says the white Bengal tiger. Nice nature. The north wall. This is the most imposing view you will get of the castle. Yeah, I think that is the stone that we're seeing up there to the right. So let's um see. Wow, look at all this. There's a little bird in the topiaries. All right, we're going to climb up here and evaluate this line because it's looking lengthy, just to be expected. Oh, we're so torn. Okay, so 60 minutes. We're not quite up to that sign, but we can see it from here. We have about two hours total for the property. It really is like. Oh, we're deciding right now. All right, I think we've committed to it. We're going to hang out for now. I don't know how much kissing's going to go on or looking or whatever. We're looking at pictures of how you have to hang over backwards and be held by your knees and stuff. No, that's the flattering position. Yeah, you know. You get the gift of flattery as well. So. Yeah, you get the gift of gab, eloquence, and flattery from kissing this thing. So, but not the uh, angles. <laughs> no. The gift of looking good from any angle? Hmm. It's like, my chin. <laughs> Why Blarney indeed? Hmm. Oh, we do get some nice little, uh, we're not at the top yet. We can pretend this is the top, but you know, some nice views off the side. We can see underneath the kissing area right there. Hold on to people's legs yeah. while they kiss the blarney. Hopefully the holders are doing good today. Blarney stone ring there. And now decisions have to be made. Stone, coffee. Mm, it's tempting. Okay. <laughs> Here we are coming into, uh, Something. <laughs> oh, we got different little sections in here to explore as we go up. Maybe that's kind of cool. I thought it was just going to be like, oh well, no, we're going into this um, what is known as staircase. But I guess there's other stuff. Yeah. Uh oh, arduous. I don't like the word arduous. Oh, well, there's where you can view and pick up your photos. So I guess they do have some professionals taking pictures and things at the top. We've reached the 30-minute marker. Oh. Yeah, it would be much easier just to scale this sucker, but um, I guess we're going to hit some stairs. One. Well, there are the stairs that we will be coming down, and somewhere in here is the path up. We can actually see folks who have made their way up to floors taller than ours. Oh, okay. We've got, like, wooden stairs in operation, kind of winding our way through the structure. I think the stone stairs are, well, either later or when we come back down. And Dee is going to try to count these stairs as we slowly go up them. So you're currently at one. Nice. Two. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> We've made our way from the ground floor to the cellar now. Great hall. What is, oh no. This is um a thing that's happening. Okay. Hello. You, you did it. <laughs> I can't stand up. <laughs> Help me, Tony, we're not gonna make it in here. Kiss the blarney yeah, right, stone, they said. Right. It'll be fun, they said. 
How long do I have to stand in this corridor? Well, you can use your feet. Once you get through there, I don't know. Well, there's oh, okay. you're good. Ah, oh, there's a moment of now relief. Oh, then we have to go through this again. Don't be tall. <laughs> Just don't do it. That's pro tip. Don't be tall. Don't be tall. Why is it so narrow? Well, it was designed to keep people out. All right, good to know. Oh, we just asked the people ahead, does it get worse? And they said, yes, it sure does. It's like the Mayan ruin stairs, like this oh. tall, and they're like this thin. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Okay. You can't do it. Can't do it. We're stuck. It's a one-way path. Yeah, you're not going back now. You guys just commit to it. What is why? What is why? What why? And then do I go down over there? Do I go up here? Do I... Right, I do like that there's a rope I can hold. We're getting there. I heard that this is an arduous climb. Oh my gosh, I got so excited because I saw light at the end of the tunnel, but that's not the end of the tunnel. It was just a side detour. We're continuing this way. Okay guys, we have another hope ahead of us. We think that's the end. The stairs keep getting narrower and narrower. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, there's not even enough room for your feet on the step. I'm doing the sideways step method. Oh. Hallelujah! Freedom! That's more Scottish, but that was a thing that we just did. Wow. Let's look at the views. Super tight. Yeah, I don't know if these tiny little things count as the steps. Okay, so we're at 90, upper 90s right now. Oh, look at this. All right, it's becoming worth it, I tell you. Oh, well, we can get oh, some views, garden. yeah, down into the gardens from here. That's awesome. I don't know if we're going to have time to make it over there because it's taken us a little chunk to get up here and we don't want to miss the bus Absolutely back not. Uh, to the next stop, actually. All right, so we have one hour from here because we have to be on the bus at 12. Sharp. Oh, good. Well, here's kind of like a structure. They have these little bar structures all around. Oh yeah, so we just have to get up there. Oh, the sign actually says it's nearly time. No glasses, okay. Oh, peeking across at what might be the Blarney House, I'm hearing, that's cool. We'll see all of our views from the top of this uh, castle today. All right, one more little open air stone staircase and we are in business. Oh, I like how the castle is smiling at us in that graphic up there. So no bags, hats, glasses, birds. I hope you can't have any birds in your pockets because gosh. <laughs> and with this last tiny step, we have conquered the climb. We are ready to stand in the line to kiss the thing. Well, here is our official view as we make our way. The kissing section is over there at the end. They do have folks to help you down, help you up, hold you in place. All right, just a few more bumps to go across and we'll be there. Ooh. Is it time to clean? Yeah, maybe yeah. they'll sanitize it right before you kiss it. <laughs> I was going to bring some spray, but I don't think that's very cool, so I did not do that. Oh, okay, yeah, that does just go down. That's why they say take the stuff out of your pockets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh it's time. Extremely tall. How about these metal bears here in here? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> she did it! I can talk now! Oh my gosh, give to gab! <laughs> All right, well the path down should be much faster because, you know, I think there's not really much of people in front of us. As you. Well, here is the way out, which is going to be down another exciting little staircase. But I think these are shorter runs with more stops in between. Okay, so at least, oh, I'm bumping into the walls, but at least there are some places to kind of stop, learn some stuff in between. Hi, there's a Blarney Stone up there. <laughs> Chapel, banqueting hall, family room. Don't think this oh, is there's a garderobe yeah. exit. Yeah, just to be able to pull off and have a break from stairs, but I'm gonna just keep staring it down here. Oh, there's another little pull off. Family room. Oh, well this is awesome. Welcome to the first person tour in real time of exiting Blarney Castle. Here we go. We do it Hope you guys enjoy stairs. This is primarily what we're seeing. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording now. Oh, hey, another garderobe. Murder hole. No, thank you. Oh, there's the bottom. Thank you for visiting. Yeehaw. 
So you can get your photographs, you can get certified, a certificate of authenticity. Now, why did I not kiss that stone? You know I do not need any more gift of gab. So I think by de-kissing it, it'll bless me with a little bit of sprinkling of blessings, but mm -mm, I did not need all them blessings. It's gorgeous though. All right, we made it back out. I haven't seen a hand sanitizer station anywhere, but uh, <laughs> there's bathrooms. The stairs are scarier than the kissing part. Well, I see signs that say stable yard. We're just wandering to see what we can do without getting too far from this area, because, um, you know, <laughs> time. I have to keep an eye on time. Yeah, so all told, I think our Blarney Stone commitment was about an hour and a half, I would say, of our time here. Yeah. Hour 20, hour and 30. There's all sorts of like gardens and stones and things to explore out here if we have more time. Seven Sisters Forest Trail. So what was your stair counter at the castle? So I believe it was 102, but then I started counting all the like the half little Oh, the pieces. rampart things. There's 127. Oh gosh. Give or take a few, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we can hear the pipes in the distance. There is the castle uh, behind a the tree. There it is. I guess we will wander in a direction away from it. Well, exit through the gift shop, of course. All right, we are going to give ourselves extra time to locate the bus since we did not come in on the bus. Cuckoo! Cute, there's the Blarney Woolen Mills. Oh, we see buses in the distance. Success. There is the giant bus and behold its gloriousness. But look, we just have to do a walk down to this thing. There's the flag. There's the uh, logo and a giant stinking laughing leprechaun who's like, ha ha ha, get to your bus on time next time. And away we go, off to Kinsale. It's about a 45 minute ride, I think, somewhere in that neighborhood. So we have stopped in the town of Cork, which normally they just give you a driving tour of Cork. So kind of cool to have a stop here. He's telling us that if you hit this game stop and head left, we should be able to find the English market for a nice little lunch. There we go, English market on the right. And we got tunes. Prince's Street Market, I guess originally. Oh, now our driver said that the sausage, I forgot what it was, some kind of a sausage sandwich up here for $5 was delicious. There's a lot of choices though. I'm also drawn in by all the shiny fruit tarts. It looks like you get to choose a sausage, choose a base sauce, two toppings, and another sauce. Ooh, saucy. That's a saucy sausage. Choices, choices, choices. Now I'm tempted by cheese. We've wandered over to another stall now. Oh, I don't need any cheese. I got my cork boy. D got an original. They both look the same right now because they're wrapped. <laughs> well, we're not too sure what the seating situation is, so we might just stand and snack. So there is the original. I know it said it had sweet chili on it and some other things. Wow. Very messy. We won't watch D eat it. We'll just wait for the uh, response here because, you know. Snap to it? No snap. Okay. And all I really got was the bread and the sausage, but the bread is fantastic. Ooh, it is a little zingy. Whatever's in there. Sweet chili. Now I don't even think I got that. And then it has tons of toppings. But the size is just insane. Yeah. Really good though. Let's eat. I guess this is the cork boy proper with fried onions, ketchup, mayonnaise, relish. Yeah, it's getting messy over there, I tell you. Mm. Hmm. Oh, hand sanitizer. Woohoo. Oh, there's that famous Irish coffee shop, of course. I think we will proceed past the box to the White Rabbit. It says they have coffee too. Oh, sandwiches, coffee, teas, hot and iced. I'm going iced, of course, because that's how I do. It's yeah, warm today. Uh, it is really warm, actually. Beautiful, sunny day. Mm -hmm. Not the norm here, probably. <laughs> I have got an iced mocha. D has gone with a latte. Sweetening it up here. And we'll just stroll and sip. I guess we'll slowly head back to the bus because our time here is drawing a little bit to a close. 
branch connection. I know we saw Marks and Spencers. There's a little store called Penny, which I guess is kind of like Primark. GameStop, what? All right, back to the bus, Gus. Irish spring water, that's my favorite bath soap. I wonder if it's flavored like that. I don't no. I hope not. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the village of Kinsale. We have made it. We are going to have about two hours of exploration here. Well, I think we'll start by wandering sort of away from the main shopping area and all the hubbub just to see what's up, get some nice views, soak in that Irish air. Smells like Irish Spring. <laughs> well, it is Irish Spring, really. True. <laughs> a little pay toilet system right there. Oh, there's a cute little park. Yeah, we're scouting out some ice cream, but the lines back at the uh, where we got dropped off were really long. Can you find the secret message? Follow the arrows. What? What? Okay. All right. I'm down for it. Okay. I think the first letter of the message is H. We're not sure. And then we have to cross the street and leave the park. Is this like a town-wide scavenger hunt? All right. We gave up on the mystery of the message for now. We couldn't find any other arrows, but we'll see if we find any later. We're intrigued by this giant mast. So giant mast. Oh, there's that. Let's go see what we can learn. 1601 galleon mast. There are lots of other nautically things going on down here by the harbor. What are these? This is a good look. Do I look do I look like I fit in with the locals now? I think I do. They keep falling forward. They're not good for wind protection. Oh dear. Oh, these y'all do take a pictures of me. I feel like John Lennon meets Elton John. I'm Elton John Lennon right now. Holy, okay, I gotta go. All right, we're picking up the, the, the trail again. So we're starting with a H. Oh, we found the trail again underneath this thing. So what did you do in Kinsale? Followed a bunch of chalk arrows on the sidewalk. All right, cool. It's either gonna be have some, have some ice cream. That's gonna be our message. Ha ha, or it's gonna be ha ha ha. <laughs> We're calling it now. I'm thinking ha 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 sounds good. All right, let's at least do some town looking while we follow these silly arrows. But the funny thing is the arrows are going in the direction of an ice cream shop that we want to go to. So bonus. It's a P. All right, let's go with happy. Well, they're having like a little craft fair today, I think. Oh my gosh, and these arrows keep going. Oh, I can smell waffle cones. Oh no, I see. Okay, we got a piece of art, but then we do have a P, another P, which makes me think we're doing happy. But the sad thing is we want to go this way for ice cream, not that way. So the message might just have to end at HAP for right now. This is super cute. I found it. Sunday's ice cream and coffee bar. So many colors, so many flavors. Oh, I got a scoop of rum and raisin and a scoop of honeycomb on the bottom. D is also going honeycomb mode. Yeah, the honeycomb is a very subtle flavor. You're rocking out with some Fleetwood Mac in here. That was super cute and pretty tasty. And we've decided that we need to continue chasing the arrows and the secret hidden message. Plus, it's kind of going back over toward the craft fair. We're just going to wander and see what we can get up to. We're determined to figure it out. That's it. <laughs> All right, we're picking it up from the P. Here we go. Around the corner. Oh, I can buy a sheep and a postcard and a coaster. Okay, here we go. Sidewalk around. Oh, well, here's some stuff to learn about as we walk around. Oh, it comes in here. Well, we found the Y. How about that? It turns us around. Okay, so it's like... It leads us back out. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is going to be like 50,000 steps later. Actually, it's going this too. Yeah, there's arrows. Y'all, this arrow game has like gotten us to explore more than we probably ever would have. So... Pharmacy. I guess we're continuing this way. Yep, Collins Pharmacy. It's not birthday. Oh, we were going birthday? No. So we have an S now. Oh no, we've done bad things. We've walked in a circle. I'm, I'm thinking oh. the, the secret message is just happies. Happies, okay. But it's spelled incorrectly. Yep. Maybe happies is the name of the place here. That's it, happies. Happies. So now we are happies just to be walking through the streets <laughs> of Ireland. Well, we have found our way up to the craft fair. Fair enough. Oh, very crafty. Everything handmade locally. Very cool. 
turtles, kitties, ah, stingrays, that's awesome. Now I think we're gonna peek in this little place called Pier Leisure, which is a casino, so we can't show you, but we're curious to see. Well, that was fun. I got to play a game called Dracula at the Olympics. Didn't win anything, but you know, that was to be expected. We donated. We donated. <laughs> All right, let's load her back up, shall we? Welcome back to the port at Cove. We were thinking of doing some running around in Cove proper, but I think we're just gonna hop back on. The time might be getting a little yeah. better. We, we've just been chasing our tails time-wise, haven't we? A little bit, yeah. Nah, but we're playing better safe than sorry after the adventures of this morning, so. We'll just have to plan a trip to come back. Most definitely. Yep, see some Titanic stuff maybe, some deck of cards, houses, all sorts of things if we get back here. They had the old face towels out as usual, very nice. And we are back home. Cove. Oh, you got folks coming down and swimming in the waters over there. Probably some local children's and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot to explore here. So when are we plotting our next um, British Isles adventure? 2025. Oh, gosh. We have a lot next year. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Oh, I can see that church. Yeah, everybody comes and wants to get the deck of cards house shot, and that's the church in the background. So you would like wind your way up and go up a little hill, and you could get that perfect idyllic picture. It's beautiful, though. Not today. <laughs> no, it is beautiful today, but. Oh, yeah, no, this is like amazing weather. They yeah. said this is the best weather they've had in like a year. I swear mm. that's what somebody said. We are back on the ship now, so we're just chilling on the balcony time. Because it's lovely out here. Yeah, I guess we'll just do our daily wrap up. We're gonna go get in the shower and get dinner ready and all that stuff. But we're just sitting out here and it's gorgeous, so why not just have a chat? Yeah. So tell me about your day in Ireland. Ireland is green and beautiful, just like I thought it would be. I really enjoyed um, going to the Blarney Castle. Mm. Like it's epic and beautiful. Scary stairs. Oh my gosh, yo! I hope it came off really well. I if you have any it. sort of mobility issues, do not even get you in that line. No, there's just no point stuff. whatsoever. Yeah. Um, but the grounds look gorgeous and there's tons to do, so don't worry about it. Even if you go there, there's things to do. I want to go back. I know. So we have enough time to do all that. That's my only thing is I wish we had more time there, but I understand yeah. why because the buses, it gets condensed, and so they have to make room for new people coming in, obviously. Yeah, ideally, more yeah. time at Blarney and maybe less time at Kinsale mm -hmm. would have been amazing. Like an hour at Kinsale would have been great. Yeah, no, it's super cute. And another hour at Blarney would have been great. Yeah. So just take time off of one to the other, but I think logistically <laughs> they just can't do that. Yeah. But overall, great tour. No, it was so. good. He, uh, Richard was Richard, amazing. Yeah. The tour guy had lots of fun stories. The coach, it was so cute. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like, yeah. like, you couldn't miss it, so, well, unless you missed it. Uh -huh. For our first British <laughs> Isles, yeah, we missed it. Um, tour bus, that was definitely a decorated bus to do. Yeah. It screamed Ireland. It did. As loud as it could. Yeah. And water was included, and he gave us um, like a good list of things to do on our next Double. step in Dublin. In Dublin. Stopped in Dublin, yeah. So, really, really great day. Yeah, so we're gonna enjoy some balcony time now. Yeah. And, um, just bask a while. We'll catch up to you probably when it's dinner time. Yes. Bye for now. <laughs> we were just sitting here looking at this sort of train or light rail station, whatever it turns out to be, um, talking about how you probably could just hop off the ship and catch this thing anywhere and then here it comes. So perfect opportunity. Yeah, it's funny. Two little cars. 
It's called the something express. No, I can't really see the words down there on the side of it, but yeah, I, I don't dare try to pronounce Gaelic words. I would be awful at that. But yeah, that's the, uh, I guess, Port of Cork or Cove Cruise Terminal Station. So that's kind of a cool way to get around too. Good evening, fresh and clean mode is here and that means dinner is approaching. Somewhere. Hungry. Yeah. Ready to yeah. see what they have on the menu. It's almost 6.30. We haven't sailed yet because we don't leave till um seven. Mm -hmm. We're going to jump down to one of the MDRs. Which everyone's less busy. And then just see where the evening takes us. Yes. Come That's with us. I know. Come on. <laughs> Downward. <laughs> Let's try Symphony Dining Room. Ooh. Oh, there was no wait at all. We got a table here relatively close to the window. Look at our little flowers. All right, let's get to the good part. Yeah, the menu. Starter soups and salads, chicken tikka, pasta, mains. Oh, they have Irish lamb stew today. Favorites and extra specials. We got our butter chunks and our chunk chunk bread. Dessert has arrived. Well, the dessert menu has arrived. There is the drink page. And, ooh, okay, there's the good stuff. We are done with the dinner. It's a quick and peek in Princess Live. We haven't even been in here yet. Well, I guess it's trivia time. Okay. Clipboards? That's ingenious. Yeah, this is a funky little Princess Live. I do like that it's enclosed. The chairs are not the coziest, but they'll be okay. They don't have any food to Oh, tables. Yeah. I think they use this as like a We're starting with where in the world am I trivia. You're going to bring it down to me? I'm gonna mark it, okay? Well, we've moved over to some forward-facing chairs, which the chairs are not particularly comfortable, but at least sitting straight helps. Musical bingo is up next. Each one of you have to have a one piece of paper. All right, next up in there was trivia for 100, which is like their Jeopardy of the game show. Uh, the seats in there, really not good to sit in for long periods of time. So we have moved out of that room and decided to come sit somewhere a little nicer. That's it, updates for now. That's the plan. <laughs> well, we stayed through the Jeopardy game and now they've got croaky loki going in there, but we are heading to the cabin. Paper, paper, paper. Good, good night. We're yeah. trying more angles. That's it, y'all. We cannot find. Anyway. It is bedtime. We don't really have much to talk about other than dinner, I don't think. No, I mean, we did trivia True. and bingo, but you guys saw what we showed. I don't know. It was fun. We wanted to do something different tonight. Yeah, so let's jump into the dinner din -dins. Sounds good. <laughs> you had beets and goat cheese. You guys, this was so good. Or was it feta? It's feta, okay. yeah. Uh, feta and pine nuts and beets with some sort of vinaigrette. It all blended perfectly together, and the feta was delicious. You had so much, you gave me some? I did. It was a lot of feta. It was good. <laughs> I had chicken tikka. Now, the first piece I ate, which is the piece on the right in this picture, was pretty tough. Mm. Um, like, I had trouble getting through it with my knife. The piece on the left was pretty delightful. So, I would definitely get that again. She's nice left. and Indian spicy. <laughs> mm, it wasn't spicy. I mean, it was spiced. Yeah. You had um soup. Like it was like a seafood soup. Uh, mussels, clams, shrimp, fish. All that, a good amount of like seafood was in the soup and it was a nice tomatoey broth with some sort of creme fraiche on top. Recommend. Nice. I had the potato and leek soup, which was a cold soup with cold smoked salmon. It was called hot smoked salmon, but that's oh. hot smoked, but then it's also chilled. So everything was cold. It tasted good, but you have to really, really be into a cold soup to want to eat that. I liked it. I don't know that I'd get it again though. Eh. Anyway, uh, you had the chicken cordon bleu. 
so this was his recommendation. I've had chicken cordon bleu before. The fi the thing I'm finding is like it's lacking in seasoning. Just the main oh. dishes in general that I've had so far, like they're good, but if they have a little more seasoning, they would be better. I found yeah. that on a few yeah. things. Yeah. Oh boy, then I had Irish <laughs> lamb stew. <laughs> um, I would use the term stew. Now, okay, I need to look up the definition of a soup versus a stew. I was expecting like a nice hearty like broth and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was a clear broth. The, no, don't get me wrong. The flavors were good. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what I was expecting. I think it was lamb and broth with some potatoes and carrots. It was. <laughs> um, the, it was decent. Yeah. I would get something else next time, now that I know. There's a picture of a mocha. Ooh. This was good. Ooh, ooh, Not overly those. chocolate. Really still had like the nice espresso taste to it. That was tasty. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, the sun was coming in weird um, oh. <laughs> for dessert. So there is your lemon meringue cheesecake. It was very nice. Like, really good cheesecake. Not like the jello-y cheesecake you sometimes get on cruise lines. This was like actual cheesecake mm. with a citrus kind of sauce. Very light on the lemon flavor, honestly. Like, but it, that didn't even bother me. What did I have? Oh, the frozen chocolate hazelnut thingamajig. And it was good. <laughs> it was like chocolatey hazelnut ice cream uh -huh. in a pie shell. I even liked a little sauce on the plate. <laughs> Everything about this, I enjoyed. Good. So I would get two of those and skip the lamb soup things. <laughs> and that is dinner. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to bed. Sleep time. Love boat time. Yes. Good night time. Good night. You know what? Tomorrow we're still going to be in Ireland. I know. Just more Ireland. Different place. Excited to explore more. Good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye.